Hi everybody, I am going to do a review on the Vankyo Cinemango 100, but it is specifically for Halloween digital decorations. I guess you could include other digital decorations such as Christmas, but I know a lot of the reviews out there are for home theater, and that's fine. There's lots of other reviews you can use, YouTube videos you can use to uh, review if that's what your interest is, but I was having a hard time finding Halloween digital decorations, specifically Atmos FX, and how certain projectors are using uh, handling for those t that type of purpose. Um, again, so if you're looking for a projector and you're going to use it for home theater to watch like Netflix or TV videos, whatever, this review will not uh, be to appeal to you. This is for those who are looking for digital decorations uh, for Halloween, and that's all. So uh, just a couple things I'll point out is this is using a USB drive where the Atmos FX files have been downloaded and just saved to this USB drive. I've not used a media player. I've not edited any videos into any kind of video editing software. It's just the files that I downloaded that have been saved straight to here. All right. This projector is very simple to use. Um, uh, you can see here's the picture, but again, I'm not using this for home theater, so I wouldn't normally have it on this wall. It is at night, but there is obviously kitchen lights on. Um, now, let me show you what some of the files look like indoors before we take this outside. So to use the Vankyo Cinemango 100, it's pretty simple. Um, you go to Movie, because we are using video files for Atmos FX. And you'll see it comes up with my uh, USB-C. Uh, just so you know, I, I can press the source button on the remote. Uh, it's this button right here on the right. Uh, so that's how I pick USB 2. I pick my file. In this case, I'm gonna use this specific folder called Spooky Skeletons. And all I'm doing is these are the f files saved from Atmos FX straight onto this USB drive. Uh, so all I got to do is literally go to it and select. So I'm pressing this is OK. I know the focus isn't all that good. Um, but if I just press a few files and then press play, remember these are vertical files. So for vertical, you would use that if you want to have your projector vertical. Uh, one nice thing is that this will do loops. And again, I haven't had to press any fancy settings. It just goes from one file to the next, uh, one media clip, one video file to the next that is. And uh, when it's done, it will, when it's done with all the files, it will just uh, loop through. Now, one thing that I don't like about the projector is you can't skip files, uh, but if you're just gonna press play and let it go, let it loop through, you'll be fine. Um, but otherwise, all you can do is really is fast forward within a video clip, but you can't skip to the next file. So like you'll see, I can fast forward here, but I can't skip to the next file. So I've only got three files on this demo. And you'll see then after it completes this one, it will go straight into the, the loop. Actually, there may be another one before this or after this. Yeah, there's the scare one, but then, so that's the third one, and then it will go back to the, will go back to the standing up, standing out of the grave. Yep, see? So it did that automatically. I didn't have to press anything. It is auto loop. As you can see from this quality, actually, I mean, this is not a 1080p, but it is a 720p. Uh, so it is HD quality. Uh, and for digital decorations, I don't think you really, I've been reading and I agree after seeing this in person, you don't need super high 1080p 
uh, qu quality 720 will be just good enough. Uh, also, there is a keystone correction. It's only 15 degrees, um, which is helpful if you need to put this at an angle, which I do. Um, I can, I'm not really going to demonstrate it here, but you can take my word for it. Just to briefly demonstrate the keystone, um, you can see how it looks kind of trapezoidy uh, when this is at an angle. So if you use the keystone, just turn it to the left, you'll see how it kind of straightens itself out. Uh, for projection modes, like most projectors, you can do front, rear, front ceiling, and rear ceiling. Uh, I'm using rear for most of mine as when you'll see and demonstrated shortly. Also, uh, when I go to settings, uh, I was kind of playing around with the picture mode and I decided, again, I don't know this very well so others can actually probably educate me to do a much better job, uh, but for me I decided when I was playing with this outside that higher contrast lower brightness and some higher color and sharpness seem to help the image look better. Uh, I'll continue playing with it because I've only been doing it for one night. Um, but just wanted to mention that as well is that you may want to adjust your settings to help uh, improve the picture quality. So again, lastly, this is the Vankyo Cinemango 100 projector. It costs about $88 when I went to Vankyo's website uh, in, on September 20th of 2020. So for those who uh, are new to Atmos FX, once you've purchased some digital files, all you do is go to Downloads. And you'll be able to just download the files. So for example, here are some of the files that were downloaded. They're zip files, so you just open them up. So again, I downloaded uh, specifically some vertical files, and I was doing Hallusion specific. You'll see there's a list of MP4, MP4 files. And then all I did was I just went and copied these and saved them to my USB drive. So for example, here's my USB drive. And all I did was I just copied them and put them right here on my USB drive. I put them in a folder called Spooky Skeletons. Um, I just kind of made that up. So, yep. And so when you put them in the projector, as I showed you earlier, all you do is select the files you want to play. So if you just only want to play, say, these first two, just select those once you're on the project in with using the projector uh, menu and it'll play just those two files and it will loop it through automatically. So now uh, I'll show you what it looked like outside. I was using it in a vertical. I know I realize this is kind of a poor man setup but I just needed some stones to keep it in place in a bean bag to help tilt it. As I go up my hill um, I was using the rear projection mode, vertical file, vertical Atmos FX files. Here's the USB I was using. And uh, yeah, pretty straightforward. Seems to work out pretty well. Again, here's the Atmos FX Illusion material. Uh, it was plenty big. I actually had to, it's grouped over here on the side, but um, I needed, Figured I'd try this material and it worked out great. Very pleased with it.
at that light right there. If I go straight on, you'll you will see the projector there. So the projector is there that you will see. So that's why I purposely went to the side for the purpose of this video. I'll see if I can try to put it in a different position, but given the layout of my lawn, which is slightly downhill not sure there's much I'll be able to do it'll be viewed from somewhere but the quality seems to be fairly good even though I've got this street light right here and it's also a full almost a full moon on a clear night so I got a lot of light hitting me right now for nighttime that is um, but pretty good this is what it would look like straight on with the projector now I do acknowledge that the decoration of the I don't know if you call it cobwebs or whatever that come with the Home Depot decoration might get in the way of the image a little bit and I acknowledge that um, I'll test it later to see how it comes along without it maybe I pull it down at night and keep it up during the day because it looks good during the day so I'll let this guy finish things off and then I'll end this video because I like this one and I could 